Hey folks, what's up? <laughs> uh, yeah, what, what's going on? What's going on? Um, all right, let me uh, let me just uh, say the reason that I am a couple minutes late is because I was talking to my guests. You know, like I swear, I feel like if we had unlimited time, we could probably talk for like hours. You know, that's fine. I I normally could talk with anybody, you know, and find some sort of common ground. And my, with my religious background, you know, I mean, I, I did that stuff, you know, I was in it. Um, I just want to preface a couple things real quick before I get my guest on. Um, I have some bullet points written down. I do have my chat, uh, not my chat. I do have my, um, my thing with the super chats turned off. You, you will still see them in the chat, but they won't pop up. So this way, um, because he can't hear them. And this way, if someone's watching... You know, it doesn't get all twisted, but, uh, hey, Shani for Christ, not the real one. I mean, if Penny, sweaty, uh, twisted, Philly guy, Shaza, what's up? How's everyone doing? All right. Without further ado, then let's get into it. Okay. Uh, you still there, right? Yes, I am. All right. Okay. Um, all right, so basically, yeah, this is just I want to finish up. You know, I know you said you had, you know, you have uh, limited time. That's fine. I uh, wanted to finish up from the, my last uh, time talking. Um, you know, it was a lot of mixed emotions, definitely. Um, I know going into it, I had an idea of what I was going to say to you, but you, um, like I said to you just now, the off uh, offline. If someone comes at me in in a, in a nice way, in the in a in a respectful way, I can give that back. You know, no matter what. I have. I don't know if you read the comments of the video we did and the other video that I did. Uh, I was watching your your video, but the consensus I got from the comics, not the comics, but the comments, is basically like, sure, a lot of people feel like maybe you should have seen some of the writing or the shit <laughs> on the wall. But on the other side of the coin, I think you did win a lot of respect for paying for them for damn near a year, right? Almost a right. year? Yeah. 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 No, actually, it was more than a year. It was more than a year because if, if you count the end of Colorado and you count when it was with the uncle and then when it was with me, it was more than a year. It was almost two if you think about it. So you were still giving them money up in, up at the Colorado home. Yep. That's what you were saying. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That, did you ever ask them? Did you ever say, hey, why do I have to pay if you guys have money or? Oh, no, 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 no. They, they they told me that they were behind in their rent and they couldn't keep up with everything. So I was helping them with the phone bill. I helped them with some key fobs. I helped them with one of their electrical bills or something like that. I helped them get food, uh, what they call medication and a couple of other things I helped them with. And then when they went to the uncles, I was helping them mainly with food and uh, helping them with like clothes a little bit and medication and then we obviously with the house i you know they got rent free living uh i was paying for the internet i was paying for the electrical for a long time i was paying for the water for a very long time i was paying for everything all right um i wanted to show this to you last time but we didn't have we ran out of time on rev i know he hasn't made a video but his last you know from a week ago his on his community tab when he says g man is the most two-faced person I've ever known. If you are his friend, beware. He recorded a private phone conversation with the owner here and released it. Apparently, though... Oh, apparently through Toasty. He's a conniving liar. Ha <laughs> ha. Now, what do you think when he... Or is he just trying to save face there with that? No, I think he's he's sadly misinformed. I think that he uh, he uh, went to Burnt Toast channel, saw Burnt Toast playing the video, and thought that I was talking to Burnt Toast. Um, in reality, uh, when all of that happened, the person that was on the phone with me live was Drag, and I had mm -hmm. him listen. I think he was in the middle of doing something else or whatever, but he was uh, he was there, and I wanted him to listen to the conversation because everybody on here is constantly well, everybody was constantly on here accusing me of lying or whatever so i wanted to have a witness this time so i called him and he listened to the whole thing and i said he can do whatever he wants with it you know what i mean so um i get he, he wanted permission to use it on youtube i gave him permission you know but uh jason said that um that i uh that i was conglomerating that, that i was planning and plotting with burnt toast 
No, I was not plotting with Burntos. Um, Burntos, I think, got it from watching Drag or whatever. Because Burntos wasn't on the phone with me and Drag. Well, actually, it was me first. And then I called Drag on Skype so he can listen in. Yeah, yeah. It was a it was a two part thing uh that he that they that she had. Now he called me two face calling me a two face friend. I think he kind of forgot what he did to me the first time I lived in that house. So I think you might want to be careful with the whole two face thing. All right. Well yeah. well let's speaking of the of the motel, let let's uh if let's get into that. So were you surprised? Like, did you nope. hear about the, 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 you know, the, them rev on the news and all that? I mean, you said that, but like, how did you find out about that? I wasn't surprised that they was eventually kicked out, but I was, I, I was a little bit, um, uh, taken back by the fact that, uh, <laughs> that they, that everybody in the hotel got kicked out because of a, a oil leak. I was a little surprised by that. Uh, I watched that a couple of times. Uh, they're probably in that shelter in, in downtown Scranton over there by a uh, guy singer. That's probably where they're at right now. Uh, I didn't see their car down there. That's why I'm not saying they're definitely down there. But that's probably where they're at. And there's a program. Um, I forget what the program is called. But the government, uh, and I recently found out about this, but the government will pay for your um, will pay for your your rent if you are officially on the street homeless or whatever. And uh, they will um, uh, uh, pay for your rent up to two years. So you can get back on your feet or whatever. So they might yeah. be in that program. So I don't know. All I know is that right now they don't got no internet wherever they are. Okay, but um, you said that you talked to this, this the owner like a few times, right? A couple of times. Yeah, I got his phone number and everything. Yep, I'm the one who uh, gave it the drive net. Why? Yeah. Why did he allow them to to extend? You see, some people are under the impression that he was either a slumlord or some guy that basically took a hotel that was condemned and started letting people come in. I've actually seen that before. <laughs> people no, rent rooms. That. He, that, that owner, he's rare. He's really nice. And I think yeah. that um, that uh, that Shandy and, and, uh, and Rev got to talking to him and he felt sorry for them and let them stay in the room. Plus, he had a copy of my debit card. So um, he could have kept charge of my card if he wanted to. Except the only problem is that card is, is is no longer valid no more. I have a totally different card now with a different number and everything. Well, that's good, especially with them too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, so, what do you think happened? Someone went down the basement to try to steal some copper from you know to sell it, and then they took grabbed more than they should have, and then just oil started leaking out. I have no idea. I have absolutely no idea what what happened. All I know is is that then this is what I think as a Christian. I think that um that uh that that god was just trying to hurry them out to be on their streets so that they can start doing something for themselves because because as long as they're comfortable they're not going to do nothing for themselves you know what i mean as long as they got that roof over their head and they got a little bit of heat and they got they're, they're, they're just not going to do nothing they're not going to go try, try try to get a job they're not going to try to do anything to better their situation so now that they have nowhere to go they have no choice but to do the paperwork they have no choice but to do the things that they got to do now Okay, so, uh, so getting back to this, the state of the hotel, you had no idea that it was on its way to almost being a condemned. Because no. the, the guy said he didn't know that there was people staying with him. I don't the know owner? why he said that. Yeah, the owner in the uh, in the uh, in the uh, the news video. Um, I, I, can, when, I can play when it. they went there. It was the cheapest hotel I could find within a twenty mile radius of um of uh of of, of where the house is. And um, that house was like a uh, thirty-seven or forty-seven dollars a um, a week. I'm sorry, forty-seven dollars a day for them to stay there. So the only reason I put them there because it was affordable. If, if they would have went to the, the Marriott or uh, or the the micro the, the micro hotel or whatever, it, it, it would have been a lot more. I think the micro hotel said that they were sixty sixty-five dollars a day. I think it was, and the Marriott was closer to a hundred. I think from what they told yeah. me. And that's where they wanted to stay, right? They wanted to marry out at all. Oh yeah, yeah. But I said that ain't happening because I ain't got that kind of money. So, they should have just been grateful they had a roof over their head. But instead, they were complaining the whole time. They could have easily been sleeping on the street. So okay, so you you basically think what happened to them is less than it was a landlord that knew that his place is falling apart and more divine intervention? No. 
I think that that um it was just a cheap, crappy hotel that they were staying at. Um and you know, and 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 it just fell apart while they were there. They ran into some bad luck. But I think I but I, I think God is directly involved in that. I think God is trying to get those two to do something for themselves. Um, Shani kept bragging about how God was, you know, was was a father, and God was with her and all this other uh -huh. stuff and whatnot. But in reality, I think he was the one that was mainly against them, and he's the one chastising them and punishing them, you know, for the things that they've done to other people. So, well, when you when you saw that, you weren't like, "Oh my God, this is <laughs> I can't believe this is happening to them again." It is kind of interesting, though. I sent them a. a, a because the only way you can contact them is do Cash App. So I sent them a request. I was requesting $2 from them. But you know, in the Cash App, you're able to put a little note there. So mm -hmm. in the note, I was asking them, you know, I, I told them, I told the news, are they okay? And I think I did the same thing on Skype too. And I didn't get a response. So I don't think they have any access to the internet whatsoever, which means that they're probably at the um, at the shelter. Yeah, well, I heard his uh, either his Cash App or his PayPal, or maybe even both were reported again. Yeah, uh, about that. One of them, one of them is, is supposedly still good, I think, because it's still on my um thingy, and I can still send messages back and forth on it. But they so don't they, respond though, so I don't really do yeah. it much. So even since the the, the day that they uh, had to leave that that hotel, they didn't try to call you, huh? No, but Shani sent me a cash out request for ten dollars, trying to get um, money for water, but. I found out that the hotel was giving away water for free. So yeah, those who just didn't want to get out the bed and get the free breakfast and to get the water that they was giving them. And when I say free breakfast, I mean, they probably would have got a coffee and a muffin, but that would have been yeah. better than nothing. And you know, even that is surprising to me. If this place was so in bad shape to offer free breakfast, usually if it's about on its way to get condemned, usually they're not offering the free breakfast. I, I did feel bad for the, the 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 rest of the patrons there that had to you know stay at that hotel and they had to get kicked out as well. Yeah, everybody they had to go. They're probably going to fix that pipe and then and then go back into business again. I don't think that's going to last long. Yeah, well, it's probably a leaking uh, issue. Mm -hmm. But like I said, it's the best thing that could have possibly happened to them because now they're going to be forced to have to go out there and work because once they start dealing with the government. The mm -hmm. government ain't going to want to hear all those excuses. That ain't social media that they're going to be on. They ain't going to want to hear all that. Because even if they receive disability, you got to go to your appointment. You got to fill out paperwork. They don't want to hear all those excuses. I mean, don't you feel at this point like it, they're, they're so past rock bottom? I mean, you, you know, nope, like they're, they're, they're at rock bottom right now. Yeah. They're at rock bottom right now. I think the, the next step is going to be um, them breaking up. I think that's what's coming. Because one of them is going to realize that they don't got to go through that no more. Either Shani's going to realize that she don't got to go through that, or or uh, Jason's going to realize that he don't got to go through that. But they're going to break up soon, I think, if they haven't done it already. I mean, I would think it'd be Shani because you know she's making Rev wipe her butt and everything. Did you know about that? Did you know that she was? Oh, making... yep, yep. He told me, and I and I actually got mad at him because I told him that um he could have been a caretaker and he could have got paid five hundred dollars a week to be her caretaker because if they was going to the hospital and she yeah. was asked. Andy Cap, as she as she said she was, you know, he could have um, uh, uh, filled out an application. He would have to report, you know, what he's doing on a daily basis on a log or whatever. But he would he would have been receiving five hundred dollars a week. I could have did it for crying out loud if, if if I was there every day, which I wasn't. But he definitely could have did it. But he th neither one of them wants to work. That's the problem. And 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 Jason's mindset, I think, at that particular time when he told me that. Is this dude still thinks he's worth seven hundred thousand? He's not. He doesn't understand that he's poor now. When when he said that to you, that he like wipes her butt like on a on a, on a daily basis, did he say it in a like he has to because of her weight, or did he say it like he's doing it out of like? No, he just said that she ain't can't do it. She she ain't so big that she can't get around and do it get herself. Around. Wow. Yeah, she can't do it herself. <laughs> and he told me that he bathes her when 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 she goes in the shower, he has to bathe her. Wow. And um, he also wipes her butt when, 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 you know, when she goes to the bathroom. Then they're not even married. Well, and that's the other thing. You know what I mean? They keep walking around here talking about they're married, and then they make videos saying that we broke up. Yeah. Married people don't break up. Married people get divorced. <laughs> you know what I mean? So they, they, yeah, they, they're yeah, crazy yeah. with that. <laughs> yeah, I know. Um, 
do you know anything about Doug, uh, her first husband? Does, does he know? Nope. Y'all know more than I do. All I yeah. know, all I know is his name is Doug, and um, I think he has substance abu uh, substance abuse issues. Other than that, that's it. And right there, that is the only that is the only reason why I think Shani does more than Delta Eight, allegedly, you know, in Minecraft and all that. But th that's why only because of a previous relationship. I did see in those older videos you can watch, you can see the whole lore that Shani would. Hey Rev, here you you can't drink, but here have some pod, have some of this. And he kind of wasn't really into it at first, but she kind of kept pushing him, and then now he's doing it. And now he's addicted. Yeah, and and yeah. And, 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 and he believes that that garbage is a salvation. That's the thing. He believes he can't function without it, and that's what she's convinced him of. That's why I said the best thing that he could possibly do is get away from her. And, and I think you can find a lot of Shandy's old stuff on uh, on Daily Motion. Um, uh, a lot of Brett Keane's uh, atheistic videos are on there, and I think a lot of Shani's stuff is on there too. When she was the um, the amazing um, the, uh, the the amazing ex atheist or something like that, a lot of that stuff is on Daily Motion. Yeah, because she was a total atheist before she found Rev and manipulated him to to take her in, take her and her kids in. No, 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 no. She. She, she was a great, de a so-called great debate, uh, uh, you know, Christian with the rest of us debating. But like I said, she got out of that and started arguing with people like myself and other people saying that debate was reprobate. And then <laughs> and then uh, Chris cheated on her. She went through her little thing or whatever. And then um, uh, uh, she, she started like courting, uh, 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 trying to get uh, Jason. She was trying to get me, Jason. And I think it was one other person that she was trying to get. Oh, you're saying besides you and G and and Rev, she was trying to get with another guy as well. Mm -hmm. I just forget who. You gotta watch uh, the uh, Fundy Archive channel. I think on there she reveals who them people were, but it wasn't just me, and it wasn't just Jason. But, his... but the only reason she, the, I'm I'm convinced the only reason she wanted him. Yeah. Well, two things. I think she she I, I think she has feelings for him uh, uh, somewhat. But I think the main thing that she was <laughs> was this guy's money and getting unlimited weed over there in Colorado. That's what I personally think. Well, and and get away with it from CPS because if anyone calls CPS, there really wasn't much they could do because it was a legal substance in Colorado. Yeah, yeah. And when they came to Jersey, I'm sorry, not Jersey. When they came to Pennsylvania, over in Scranton, they um, they, they Shani was kept talking about like the the oil. That's the substance that's in Delta Eight. That was legal for her, for legal for them to use. And she would always be saying, you know, have the shakes and everything. I know I talked about this before. She always say she got the shakes, you know, because of the pain that she was going through. But that that that, that what them shakes were was is that she was going through withdrawal and she needed her fix. That's what it was. What, looking was, back at it, I didn't know it at the time, but looking back at it, that's what I think what was going on. She was after that weirdo J Dub's guy. You know, J-Dub? I think, yeah. Yeah, she was flirting with J-Dub's a few times. Yep. Oh, uh, yep. of course she was. <laughs> she was flirting with J-Dub's. And, and, and it might have been somebody else, too. I'm just trying now, to think. That radio show that you were on, uh, Block Talk Radio, you were mm -hmm. on, you had a, uh, I don't know, if it was channels or whatever, and so did Rev. Were you guys on the same one, or were you on two separate ones? No, no, no. I was on a separate one. Uh... I, I was doing a blog talk for the Hebrew Israelites, and then uh, I think Rev was doing stuff for um, for the uh, for, for for that conspiracy theory stuff that he's into. Uh, wait, uh, is there someone called Positively Godless? Was that somebody else that she was after as well? I don't know if she was after him, but she never really said anything negative about him. No, I don't think. Yeah. All right. I want to I want to play you your video because I know you made this video and people said, "Oh my god, like there there's a cough there." And then after that, you made uh, a follow-up video saying that you didn't really hear a cough. But uh I want to ask you, when you watch this video again at around 6 minutes 57 50 seconds in, did you uh use headphones because you can hear it? No. I use my phone. My phone picks up things pretty good but if okay. there's a cough and, and and i'm standing where i'm standing or i'm standing where the mailbox is and that have to have been something outside because they're not there but anyway that oh yeah 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 can, uh, i just wanted to play because then it's it's rev's mother you know what i mean 
<laughs> or an Uber. Oh, track, but... okay. Well, it's something because you can hear it, but here, I will play it. Here, I'll, I'll stop my music. All right, this looks important. Let me put... See, that sounds like a almost like a bus coming by. Might have been a car driving by. Everybody keeps talking about how there's ghosts in that house and everything. I see that, that, that the, the problem with me is is I don't believe in that stuff. I believe in Jesus. I don't believe in um <laughs> don't <laughs> believe in no 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 Casper the friendly ghost walking around. I don't believe in that stuff. Well, all the people that I know in, in, in Pennsylvania always tell me that in, in Pennsylvania is really, really old. That's why if anywhere would be haunt, uh, there would be hauntings, it'd be over there because just of how old the area is. Super, super mm. old. Mm. And that one video, Shani said that there was stuff, you know, like moving around. She just kept hearing it. So you mm. don't you don't hear that cough. Mm. <laughs> all right. Mm. Uh, but if there's a cough, it's got to be somebody outside because I'm the only one there. Well, right here at this time, did you, you had that door open still, right? Yeah. Okay. Like yeah. I, said, I, was, I, I think I'm looking at a letter or something like that in the mail or something. You don't hear that. I just heard that, yeah. Yeah, that that that's that that's the cough. That's where everyone it, was like, what, what is that? It could have been outside. It could have been outside. Yeah, the door was open. Well, that's what I'm thinking. You should try like in the future when people are like, hey, I don't think they're trying to be trolly. I think they're just like concerned. I mean, man, you no, might no, no, it's, it's not that. I always get a couple of people in my in my comment section trying to start trouble. <laughs> you, you, you know what I mean? Like right now, there's no warring going on, but they're trying to like speed it up so we can so I can get back to warring with everybody. Yeah. No. OK. Well, you know, like I said, um. Uh, that especially you don't live there so if if you're over if if you're only there to like fix the place up there could be someone like hiding in the walls you ever see that video where there's someone like sleeping in the, in the dude's walls and they were oh, like yeah, out that, to, yeah. to pee yeah. in the thing <laughs> yeah yeah but yeah that's that's why i was like oh my god like once i heard you said pee in the sink yeah, she didn't want to because she went, didn't want to go past the guy's uh, room, so she'd go to the bathroom in the sink, and then go eat his stuff, and then go back in her cubby hole. Mm. Oh, oh, Brett wants to know: I mean, Has Shani ever tried to? Uh, I mean, I know she tried to like be flirtatious with you, grab your hand at one time, and and mm -hmm. I know exactly what you're talking about. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but did she ever try to like? get nude in front of you no but she she it did it there's a couple of times where she had that black robe on where mm -hmm. she had nothing on underneath it and it was open a little bit too much i think and i had to tell her to close the robe a couple of times <laughs> yeah <laughs> um i was doing a video and she had the link and she came on and she tried to get nude in front of me to try to flag my video down but i caught it and i took her off the off the screen but she i could still see in the corner that she was still doing things with 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 uh with jason yeah they're they're really good mm -hmm. uh real good positive christians hey let, let me ask you when you heard about their only fans right right did you ever, did you ever talk to them about that no and uh, i i talked to them about the porn though um she wanted me to go see it i told her no um and she i did? never seen her only fans and i never will see her only fans <laughs> she asked you though to if you wanted to see it or she wanted me to see the porn and i told Why? her no i don't know <laughs> maybe she was being for teachers. i don't know but i wasn't gonna look at it uh, do you have any like contact with the uh with the kids I, guess I have no idea who has them. I don't know yeah. where they're at or anything like that. So, no, I don't have any contact with them. But they know how to contact me. I think they got my email address or whatever, but they haven't tried to, though. Because <laughs> I'm pretty sure all their needs are being met right now. Yeah, which is which is good. I mean, did they ever tell you anything privately? Like, hey, this, this is not good. I mean, I know you said before that they were like, you know, Rev is 
violent and this and that, but you didn't know if if that was for Shani's benefit or what they felt was the truth. Well, this is what happened uh, after Rev uh, after Jason kicked uh, Zachary and he, and he was in jail or whatever. I went over there and they um, the both of them came to me and, and and was talking about what happened and they mm -hmm. were saying that this wasn't the first time he ever did it. And then they told me that, uh, and then Zachary's hugging me while they were telling me all of this. And then um, they're telling me how they, how you know, he, he's not really good for them. He's very abusive with his mouth and all of other stuff. And then I went in there to go see Shani. You know what I mean? And then Shani was was endorsing everything that was being said because Shani thought that I was going to stay there and I was going to finally get her and everything because in her mind I want her and everything. So, uh, like I said, I think y'all know the rest of the story. I got out of Dodge yeah um thank you uh philly guy hey philly guy uh if you have a question you just put it on and i will i will ask it uh david anthony five dollars from him thank you david and you know david of course yeah and david i i hope everything's going on going good with your brother um you know i i hope that's all taken care of and and good you know thoughts and prayers for that definitely but uh anyway he says what would she do if Shani and Rev showed up asking for help again? The best guess is that they are still at the motel against police orders. They might be on the parking lot in the car because according to them, they didn't have no money for gas or whatever. That's possible. So if somebody went over there, they might see them on the property. But uh, if they came to me asking me for help, the most I probably do is give them 20 bucks and then that's it. That's probably the most I do. And they're just down to the one car. Right, just just the Cadillac. Uh, hold on one second. I'm sorry. Yeah, sure. Take your time. Yeah, yeah. So, um, yeah, the most I might do is give them twenty bucks, and then that's it. Okay, but you want anything, um, anything else? You know, you know, like here's twenty bucks. But as far as like staying there or anything, you no. Know, no, nope. that's, out, that's okay. out of the question. No, I've, I've done too much work for them to go back there yeah. to destroy the place and stink it up again. It's not going to happen. Yeah. Um, yeah. And you know that even if they and not to mention to... The, the neighborhood would get on my case, too, because a lot of them are happy they're not there. Like that entire neighborhood, that entire block is happy that they're not there from the convenient mark all the way up. So much noise they were making there. You mean in, in PA? Yeah, the, the whole street, the whole fifth street. Everybody's happy they're not in the house no more. Wow. So, they don't make it too much noise. Okay. So, yeah, because you said that before, that the neighbor smelled something. Speaking oh, yeah. Of, yeah. The windows are open. You can smell the house. You can smell the inside of the house if the windows are open. And that's exactly what there's, happened. There's this, there's this house on the side of my house. Yeah. And he would go up the ladder to, like, you know, paint or to, like, fix the, uh, the roof or whatever. I think it's fixing the roof at the time. And, um, but uh, uh, the windows would be open and you can actually smell the inside of the house. That that foot fungus, right, that you were talking about? Yeah. The fact that they didn't bathe. Uh, Two dollars from Zachary from and uh, Zachary and William bathed because they didn't smell like that. Oh, OK. Well, that's good. Um, yeah, that's what she had to do to the boys smell as well. So it was just really them two then. Yeah, it was always yeah. them. Thanks, Danica. But 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 the kids didn't smell like that. They clearly went in the bathroom and took care of themselves, but um, the other two didn't. So, did the neighbors come to you and say, "I'm glad they're, that they're not there anymore"? No, the neighbors just used to complain, especially across the street. They used to talk about the noise. Uh, the two that was the guy named Marty and another one that was on the other side was complaining about the noise. Some of the people at the street was complaining about the noise. The people at the convenience mart was talking about their behavior when they went to the store. And everything they're just happy in general that they're not there no more anyway when you when you say noise you mean like they would be fighting a lot or just screaming well you've seen their videos when they were in. yes and that's why yeah. i'm so surprised when when shani would get all mad like you trolls you called the cops again like no it, it, it could literally just be the, the neighbors i mean i heard though the one police call it was um it was uh, a, a mom and her son. 
I don't know who that is. Um, I don't know if there's a mom and a son in the area, but I, I heard the police uh, call and he was like, I don't know what the, what's happening. They're screaming. I don't know that. Yeah, I know there's kids there and that's all they knew. They just wanted the police just to check it out. And that's, you know, that's not a SWAT. Swanning is when they show up thinking that you got someone tied up in your basement and they got AR-15s at your, at your face. Those yeah. are just wellness checks. But well, Shaney thinks yeah. that a wellness check is a SWAT. A lot of what y'all saw on there, I think, on that channel was exaggerated for them to get views. They knew what they were doing uh, uh, with, with the punishment of cutting his hair and all that stuff. And no, Jason isn't always down with it. That's stuff that Shani conjures up in her head to try to get people to watch the channel so that they can get, you know, uh, uh, ad revenue. Okay. Okay, Philly guy. Uh, I uh, think thank you for the uh, cash. That's I, one I thing know. I know about them for a fact that they that they will exaggerate things and do things to draw attention to themselves so that they can make money. That's why she always calls it. It's time to go to work. It's time to go to work. It's time to go to work. That much I kind of knew. That's why you ain't never seen me responding because I know a lot of that stuff is sensationalized. Okay, five, another five from from David Anthony. Uh, Shani has to have sex with Rev from Rev on a regular basis. They have weeks of unbathed foot fungus sex in that car with Shani being so big. Well, they're not having sex right now. I can tell you that now. <laughs> and if they're at a shelter, they're probably in two different shelters. Although it is possible that they're at the same one, although it's doubtful. Oh, my God. <laughs> I mean, I just love when people put it in, in its perspective like that. I mean, that, but that's that's where they should be, though. At this point, you know, it's it's time it's time to be to be done. You know, I think the longer and longer they keep on this facade, mm -hmm. the more and more that they're just gonna, you know, get more messed up. And that's kind of like how I, you know, I know some people had a problem with how I talk to people and stuff and interview people. I feel like this is YouTube. I'll talk to whoever I want. I don't care who it is. I, I have no, I'm, this is a solo act. So it's just really me. Mm -hmm. And I try to understand and gauge people and try to understand like why people did this, that, and the other, you know, but that being said, when I turn off the well, computer, now you know I'm, how I feel because I've been having that attitude for the longest. Yeah. Um, so, but I just don't understand how like they were able to, keep lying to you to get you to keep paying them that amount of money because you're not saying like a couple hundred bucks you're talking like almost over a grand right a week or... shani's just really good she's just she, she's good and then like i said when when jason when jason got it out of me it was always you know the boys the boys the boys the boys the boys you know what i mean then they kept giving me false promises that they were going to go downtown and fill out paperwork which they never did you know Oh really? Okay, so they were they were they were giving you that. Uh, do you know where the if they still have that the the cats? I don't think you can bring cats in the hotel. I'm sorry, not the hotel in the, uh, the in, in the shelter. They're there, shelter. so yeah, they probably no. They probably they, don't they, got them. Probably gave them to an animal shelter. Yeah, which is unfortunate. There were so many people around that were saying that they would have taken the cats, no problem. You know, just to make sure that they didn't go to, to a shelter because after a shelter, they don't get picked up. You know, it's unfortunate. Did you know? Yeah, about watermelon the, was adorable. Did you know about the guinea pig situation? What happened with all that? Well, apparently they said the guinea pig froze to death, I think. Or <laughs> died. I And I don't think, well, you got to understand something. In that house, there was no, because that house is an oil furnace house. And I didn't keep any oil in that furnace. But they wasn't supposed to be there as long as it was. And I told them this on a regular basis. I said, if you want oil in, in, in that furnace, you're going to have to go to the store and buy the oil and put it in there yourself because I can't do it. You can't keep paying for all these different things. And they had all the heaters, and that's why they ran the heaters all the time. I think they because. went through like six heaters or whatever because uh, two of them broke. And they, had to, and, and they had to buy some more. And then it got to the point that they only had one heater. And everybody was just staying in one room because of that one heater. But that one was warm, though. That room was warm. The rest of the house was freezing. So they had the guinea pig in William's room, and uh, they said that they believe that that, that the uh, guinea pig froze or whatever. I personally think it starved because they couldn't keep up with the food demands. Wow. Okay. So, but they like told one of the froze. things like one of the things that they couldn't do was constantly get the proper bedding. Yeah. Yeah. Because they need yeah. tights to go to the bathroom on. Mm-hmm. 
So it was like a bear box after a while. I had to go there and I had to go buy rabbit bedding. Well, I think that was rabbit bedding they had me buy. Big bag of rabbit bedding, and then that would go quick. Why didn't they try to go to use that service that would pay for for them to get actual oil for the heater to turn it on? Because well, they had no money. Every, every time they got their money, they they was buying Delta Eight. No, and I mean, they expected like, me to do all the stuff. They could have signed up for it. I'm saying, you know, they could have signed up for the thing to to give them some heat, oil to have heat, so they wouldn't have to use. They could have that. signed up to get oil heat. They could have signed up to have the electricity paid for. They could have signed up and got um, the water paid for. They could have signed up and got um emergency section eight. They could have signed up for a lot of things. They never did it. They were getting up every day, talking about foodie beauty, truthfully Trisha, and every other drama that was going on on YouTube and playing video games all day before watching a couple of horror movies. They wasn't doing nothing. And then when I found uh, a Jason the job, and you already know the story about that. He don't want to work. Nope. Shandy <laughs> said she can't work. She's full of it. But she did work. She worked for a long time before she even met Rev. That's why right. I'm so confused. Like you were able to work then, maybe not long uh long time, but she would, you know, a couple months here and there be better than better than nothing. Did they ever have a tell you about like of another type of plan like if any of you ever go to that neighborhood and you go find and you go look at the date around when um jason got arrested and he was in jail the neighbors yeah. will sit there and tell you that that she was downstairs and she was walking around like she went on the porch and everything like she was getting around and everything she's full of it all right do you think when you say she's full of it do you feel like she's full of it and like she's even lying to herself or it's a it's laziness. Like it's laziness. She knows that she's going to have to get up and be uncomfortable and walk around a little bit. As a matter of fact, she told me, uh, I would say about six months before, no, not six months, four months before the whole incident with uh, Zachary and, and Jason, that she was getting physical therapy. And during, during physical therapy, they had her, you know, walking for a little bit and her legs got stronger. She said it was painful, but her legs was getting stronger. She said it was a best decision she ever made when she um, went to physical therapy. And then for some reason, she stopped getting physical therapy. And that's when she started claiming that blood clot garbage in her legs. And the reason why I know she's lying and then why you ain't never seen me respond to that was because whenever I went over there and it was time to go to Walmart, oh, she found them strengthen those legs to go to Walmart to buy that food. You know what I mean? She found strength in her legs to go get pizza. She found strength in them legs to go get chicken. Especially if she had no way to keep tabs on uh, Jason. Um, David says, oh, it, it was your sister. Oh, I'm sorry about that, David. Uh, I mean, Dave, if you want to put the link on in the chat here, that I'm, I'm okay with that. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm uh, sorry about that. I know I, I, I did watch your video. And you got this grown behind woman getting on YouTube, crying, saying that she needs somebody to take care of her. She's almost 40 years old and she's getting on here talking about some. I need somebody to take care of me. Rev's broke. That's the reality. She ain't got no money. The kids can't get up and work. She has to get up and take care of herself and she didn't want to do it. Well, what about when you would always say that you were going to, that, and, and Shani would also say this too, that she was, you guys were going to take people to court and she was going to have a lull suit and all that. Cool. Well, I was going to give them the money for that. Really? I told them that, that that if they went to a lawyer and they found out how much they needed, I would give them the money. They were too lazy to do that. The lawyer was only a, about a mile, a mile, no, it was only two miles, about two miles away. All he had to do was go there and explain what he needed. And they were supposed to send out a cease and desist. And it was a whole process that they had planned that they were going to do it. They were too lazy. They didn't want to do it. And I was going to pay for the whole thing. I mean, personally, I don't think that they have a case, in, in, you know, unless it's a case of slander that they can prove that there was money that should have been went to them that didn't go to them. But like, no, no, talking. no. The only thing that the only the only argument they had at the time was stalking, and they had an argument for, um, which is true. Uh, they had an argument for stalking, and they had an argument, for what I understand, for uh, for cyberbullying and cyber stalking. That 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 was the big thing. Problem with that is they ain't had no money. You know what I mean? They needed a minimum of, from what I understood, they needed a minimum of about two grand just to even talk to this guy about um, about what to do and then for the lawyer to get everything going or whatever. But um, I 
um, 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 agreed to pay for all of it, but they never did with what was necessary. So, I mean, after all this, do you feel like you have any regrets, like regrets to people or regrets to how you talk to certain people or treated certain people during this time with Shani and Rev? As far as Shani and Rev goes, yeah, I think I was a little mean with some people on here. But at the same time, if, if, if we're going to be fair, those people were kind of mean toward me regarding the situation because I was basically being punished for being their friend. I was basically being punished for that. And I didn't like that too tough. But uh, I mean, like I said, looking back at it, things could have went a little different. You know? Yeah, that's kind of. But my thing is this. <laughs> my, my my thing was this. When 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 Shandy finally went too far with me, I was like, I'm not suffering for these two no more. I'm not doing it no more. No, because because they're not doing nothing for themselves. She's blaming me for her eventual death. You know what I mean? Because she had to sit in the car and do something for herself or whatever. You know what I mean? And it's enough's enough. And it's a combination of a lot of things that's been building up. Not wanting to work, not wanting to do the paperwork, thinking I think I'm obligated to pay your bills every week. You're not giving me a dime uh, to, to, towards these bills. You refuse to sell the PS5. It was a lot of things that was building up in me. So you feel like if you were, had a chance to do it again, then maybe you would have told CPS, like, maybe it's not all the roles no maybe. no if i had a chance to do this again they yeah. would have never went there to begin with it would have never gotten that far i'd have okay. never let them come there to begin with if i had a chance to go back and do it again no what i would do is i would talk to the uncle and try to get them to stay there yeah you should have talked to the uncle i mean because i bet if you would have talked to them he would have told you exactly <laughs> why he was kicking them out kicking them out of a place that you said uh rev owned right That's yeah rev rev owned it and he gave it to an, he gave it to the uncle because you know these places the pieces of garbage to them I this is what happens when you bad. grow up and you think and you think you're rich and you think you're better than everybody you know what i mean and you're looking at what you got and you think it's garbage instead of fixing it up which they okay. didn't want to do okay so real quick the, the the place that you're in now that's rev's jason's childhood home right the place that I own now, not where I'm at now. It just ain't the same yeah, place. Yeah, yeah, the place that you, yeah, that you own. Yeah, that's what I mean. That's that's his childhood home, right? Yeah, that's the place where him and his mom lived. Yeah, yeah. The place... it looked nothing like the way the, the way it looked when she was around. That's for sure. I changed a lot of stuff. Yeah. No. Uh, people have, people said that they said in the comments that they, they were like, "Look, it does look better than it did." So the place that he gave to the uncle, what was that place? That place isn't in all that bad condition. It's just the front, the yeah. the porch is getting ready to collapse or whatever. But the inside of it is 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 um is old fashioned. It's all right. No, I mean like what? Wh whose house was that? Why did Rev own that? Uh, it had something to do with his mom leaving him a bunch of things, but uh, he didn't want it, so he gave it to his uncle. Do you know what his mom did, like, for her to have all this money, or was this all just, you know, uh, she invested a lot of money insurance. in stocks in her dad, and, and, and well, actually, he's technically uh, see, th this is the other thing people don't know. He's not broke. That's the funny thing about it. He ain't broke. He's just too lazy to go look into things because his dad owns stocks in oil, uh, uh, and 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 owns uh, rights to other things that he needs to look into. The problem is. He could never focus on that because he always attended to Shani this and Shani that or whatever. He never really took the time to um to, to look into them things. Like like for example, they have in their possession uh uh three or four hundred dollars in savings bonds and they and, and and they're too lazy to go cash that stuff in. Cause when I first met them in person, they wanted me to find uh his dad's information so that he can go get it. And I found all that stuff and I gave yeah. it to him. And he still didn't go get them a savings bonds and, and cash them in. Oh wait, so where he he has the savings bonds or he has to go get them? He has them. He oh. has them in his possession. Why does he sell them then? Or at least get I don't know. They, these two are unbelievably money. lazy. Uh Danica asked, didn't people send pictures of their old place in Colorado to Rev's uncle? And that's why he kicked them out, because he showed them the the wall and the the crap on the floor and all that. Do you know if the uncle was given any of the pictures? From what I understood, it had something to do with them not wanting to work. And I don't think he was that crazy about Shani personally. Uh, with Jason, I don't think he minds helping him. Plus, mm -hmm. he, he's in the process of selling that place. 
Um, Keep in the Patty, process of selling that place. Patty asks, "Is who's in the 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 uncle?" Yeah, he's in the process of selling that place. Oh, I didn't I didn't know that. I didn't know that. Yeah. Wow. Um, because what I understand, no, yeah. no, no. I, I got my information wrong about that place. That place was Jason's grandmother's house, and it was left to his mother, and then left to him, and then it and then he ultimately gave it to his uncle. That was his grandmother's. Okay. Okay. Yeah. What I understand. Yeah. But the uncle yeah. has his own family, right? Or he has a wife, and he just wants to just sell that. Jason's got a couple of cousins, but J most of Jason's family is dead. Wow. Okay. He's got a couple of cousins, but most of his family's gone. Well, pa Patty wants to know if, if does the house still smell? No. Uh, yeah, the, the I've eradicated that. No. <laughs> but but the laptop that I have here, the gaming laptop that I have, still has a lot of that smell. Oh, wow, dude. Thank you. From from four from three years ago in it. Yeah, I can imagine how things smell if you open it up and you see all the dust that's in there. Ugh. <laughs> I know. Oh, oh. David Anthony again. Would we be responsible if Shani uh ended herself? Ah you know what, man? I per me personally, I don't I don't think so. Only because the simple fact is that she put this on the internet. That's how I feel. I well, mean, that's why I'm careful about what I say on here because that, that that's a tricky topic. I would say no, but but I I wouldn't underestimate the state of Pennsylvania. Yeah. So <laughs> I, I I get what you. Mean. I'm very picky about what I say when I get on here and I talk about them. You got to be careful with these days because if you, if you haven't studied this topic, you're going to get yourself in a lot of trouble talking about it. Especially if you're wishing for them to die and you're telling them to kill themselves. If you got YouTubers saying that to them, then they're setting themselves up for failure. Um, well, yeah, yeah. And then, well, I feel like a lot of that is a, a manipulation. Definitely. Because it, all I want is Shani just to admit something, anything, you know, it's you did this. G-Man did that. Jason did this. Chris did that. The Dragoons did that. Never. And Shani used, didn't do anything. Yeah. And that's my problem. Yeah. Yeah. You know how she always talks about like all these college courses she has, even though she never graduated high school. Yeah, she said that she had kids or something like that, right, or something along that, right? Instead of graduating school, right? Yeah, she didn't graduate. Yeah, well, no, you don't she... have to graduate high school uh, to go to college. You don't have to graduate high high school to go to, go to college. You can get your GED, and you can um, go to a community college or something like that. I think. Uh no guys he's not he didn't block nobody uh he he didn't comment <laughs> oh sorry about that man mm -hmm. oh, oh no no there he is see he's right there he's right there sorry he he just gifted memberships people are like I can't see and it's like okay <laughs> but any, membership anyway, yeah 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 uh you can you can gift those. I, yeah, I thought it was just on Twitch, but apparently it's on YouTube as well. But you you can't uh, gift them to it's random, you know, like a lottery almost. Oh, okay. But, yeah, but anyway, yeah, I feel like a lot of it is just crap. So she said that she, um, that her principal, her high school principal, got real uh, sexual with her, and she had to leave the school. Everybody gets sexual with Shani. <laughs> well and that's that's my point too and i'm like oh come on and then she never went back to get a good enough diploma or anything and i know like a ged there's nothing wrong uh definitely with a with a ged you know it's you graduated but she never even got that and she was saying that she had a, a degree in nursing and everything she did this and that psychology uh, computer, but you, you even said that she did some computer work for you, but she didn't, you know, she well, no, 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 all she did degree. was, was cut some faces off and put them on some things and whatnot. I, like, like the same program she, she was using, I was using too. I, like I learned how to use myself. So, but I gave her like 20 bucks. I gave her $50 one time to do something for me. I think, I think I gave her $50 to do the G podcast thingy for me that, that, that she did. So, but I didn't know how easy it was using these programs myself. So. What program is that? Uh, uh, what the heck is this mess called? Um, give me a second here. 
Uh, photo. Not Photoshop. Uh, well, actually, Photoshop's one of them, but there's a different one. I think it's called. Um, oh, my Gimp. goodness gracious. Okay, Dave. It's called Gimp. Gimpy? No. No, 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 no. Give me a second. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No problem. I've, I've used the Gimp before. Get the Gimp. <laughs> it's a photo room. Uh, and, and, and I found these other little apps I can use on my phone that I use uh, to do this editing and everything. Yo, by the way, so what kind of phone, what kind of phone do you have? Uh, because like I said, not all phones allow you. I have an you. Android. I have an Android. Yeah. Like, a, like a Samsung? I have an Android. I'm going to be yeah. careful with that one too. Okay. <laughs> well, I, I know because I know certain Androids will not allow internet to work. You know, or you do use Streamlabs or Stream, I, or I've tried before and it wouldn't connect. Well, I have this uh, phone that I'm using, and then on YouTube, I'm using this tablet to be able to see what's going on. Oh, so, okay. A little delay. Yeah. yeah. So, so I can probably use this tablet if I update it to uh, to do my shows, but I prefer my phone. This phone's really good. When you when you go to the house to do work and you like do like an update or wherever, you're also doing it on your phone. Like, you know, you like, oh, okay, you're talking about with, with the videos? I have no yeah. choice but to do it on my phone. There's no internet there. Yeah. Actually, no, 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 no. It's not true. The internet there is not is not as good as on my phone. The internet yeah. there is just strictly for the camera action that's there or whatever. But mm -hmm. on my phone, yeah. my phone, I, I don't know. My phone is better. It's, it's just better in general. And then sometimes I don't have my main phone because my battery would be dead like it is almost like right now. I'll have another phone and I have to connect it to the internet then. And that's when you get the shakiness and it don't sound all that good or whatever. So you'll know which internet I'm using. All right. Um, I guess my final some my final thoughts are, are kind of this. So basically, number one, you don't foresee talking to them. It's between you guys and them. That's that's it. Cut and dry. Done. I think eventually I'm going to run into his uncle at some point. And he'll update me on what's going on with them. But they're in Scranton somewhere. Uh, they're either at the homeless shelter or they're in that program where they're going to try to find them a room or whatever. Did you ever but talk if, to if, But uncle? if you guys ever go to Scranton, if you guys ever go to Scranton, they're probably either at that, that the shelter that's downtown or they're at the, um, the hospital down there. The Guy Singer. Yeah. Guy Singer? Yeah, that's what it's called. Yeah. Um. But yeah, I'm not going there because yeah. I, I was actually going to go to the shelter looking for them until, I, until uh, a friend of mine told me I got to be careful with that because that could look like stalking, especially after they told me that they didn't want me. They didn't want to see me. That's why I said a lot of that stuff is tricky. You got to be careful with that because you can get accused of stalking after that. Unless you have genuine concern, like you're going to go in your pocket and actually help them right then and there, you know? Yeah, no, you're yeah, you're no, you're right about that. Uh, Crash wants to know. Um... He really wants one of them lightsabers. He wants to buy one. Uh, he says, "G-Man, how do you con how does he? He wants to contact you about a lightsaber. Are you interested at all in that? It's I mean, it's up to uh, you. you can contact me via email. You can give them my email address when when I leave. Uh, I have to okay. find a way to mail it where I don't have to um reveal my address. Well, actually, no, 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 no. As a matter of fact, I'll I'll, I'll use that Fisk address as a return That's right. address. That's yeah, right. you, I can do yeah. that. Yeah." All right. Yeah. Do you know? Um, I don't. I don't know what kinds he had. He had the green one, and he had the. I have uh, two green ones, and I have Vader's Obi Wan's, and uh, I have Vader's. No, I got Luke's, Vader's, and Obi Wan's. Okay. Do you know what price range you would want uh, for one of those? I don't know. I gotta think about selling them because I really wanted those lightsabers, and I gave up a lot of stuff to those things. Oh, oh, <laughs> you want really want okay. those You're a Star Wars fan. <laughs> I also got a katana sword I got from him too, and I got a, a couple other things I got. Gee, uh, I'm looking back at this when I was first there. I should have kept those rifles that was that that rifle that was there. And as a matter of fact, I could probably go there and claim it anyway at the police station because he never went there and got it. Whoa, 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 whoa! Back up, back up, back up. What what rifle? There was a rifle. It was a rifle. Like an no, it was a, uh, it was an automatic. Um, it was one of them. One of those uh, automatic rifles or whatever. When I was at the house the first time, it was a rifle there. Wow! And and when he got in trouble, 
with the with the uh, the the government officials. They they take no, that stuff is still there, and and the stuff was still there when when, when I went there the first 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 time. He he had that rifle there was and and um he and he even told me that I can have that, but I was like, I, you can't do that, not unless I got a license. And he's got to come yeah. over there and sign it over. He's got, eh, please, uh-uh, I ain't stupid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well. You you realize about the lightsabers? You you realize? I don't know if you ever saw the video that Rev used to like, you know, play with those lightsabers naked, right? He'd have nothing on but like it's the start, like the stormtrooper helmet on. That's why I sterilized them. <laughs> yeah, you I have lights all, and I sterilized everything before I brought that thing home. Did they smell? Uh, everything smelled over there. Oh my God. <laughs> oh my God. All right, man. Um, yeah, everything smelled there. It wasn't so easy. They didn't even want to bathe, and then Shani wants to flirt with you. Like, uh, like, like <laughs> there's definitely something going on in her head, man. That 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 ain't really right there. Can't be flirting with nobody smelling like that. You're crazy. And you're saying, and you're. I saying... bought her some clothes because I got tired of watching her wear the same shirt every day. She was wearing yeah. the same sweater and the same shirt every single day. So I said, when I come down there, I asked her what her size was. And I think the shirt I bought her was ten four XL. or five. No, it was like four or five X's. I think it was. She was <laughs> able to. She was able to get it on. So, moo moo, folks. <laughs> Rev wore a large, and then uh, although it kind of was tight on him, and then like I said, I got the boys some some pants, and I got them some some uh some 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 uh sweaters. And I bought them a lot of hats and scarves and gloves, and all that stuff. I bought them coats. So your your whole thing is, and this is this is your this is how you perceive the way things happen. That you thought people were just not liking them, messing with them, messing with you. The people were telling you this; uh, they didn't like you anyway. But when you actually met them in person for the first first time, you were like, "There's something going wrong here because they smell really bad." And she's being very flirtatious with you with her boyfriend. Her man right next to her. Is that that's no, how you feel? no, Shandy was stupid and she was putting all her information on YouTube and I told her to stop doing it. And I told them when they moved in that house to stop telling everybody that they were there. And then they got comfortable and started talking about what was going on in the house all the time. They they, they were the art the, the architects of their own destruction. They were just stupid. Yeah, because like I said, when I first saw you uh and we talked a year ago. I was like everybody else. I was like, well, what's going on? And, you know, like I got the rundown about you that you were religious. You're where you're going, talking to uh, the Hebrew Israelites and all that down in, in, in Newark and all that. And, and you were like out Newark, the front line. Newark, New York, Allentown, a bunch of different Philadelphia, a bunch of different places I was dealing with them. Um, And but you were doing that by yourself, right? Yep. I'm and, not afraid to die for my faith. Yeah. And the whole like Shani, so did Shani find you first or did Rev find you first? You mean on YouTube? Yes. Shani. I was introduced to Shani by Rand Campbell and um the Wee Nut by, by, by the Bible Thump and Wee Nut, Rand Campbell, Matthew 419, and those guys all in a Skype meeting one day. That's how I met her. In a Skype meeting. And then you were uh, you were doing Google Plus as well, right? Yep. I'm coughing because I need some water, and my mouth is uh, my throat is itchy. Yeah, but, uh, yeah. Uh, I'm gonna I know. be off here soon anyway. I think the hour is yeah. almost up. So. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Okay. Um. I, I guess, like I said, my final thought about it is like it's just it's really interesting how everything went down, and uh, like I told you. But you, you do now, understand what what happened between us that caused me to turn on them, right? You, you know what happened, right? Well, I know you say you were trying to get them to get a job, but I personally... No, 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 no. They was in the uh, hotel, and the goal was to either sell the place or get the or get rent from it on a regular basis so I can try to help them, you know, get their own place or whatever. Uh, I had to get surgery on my back. Like, it was the same day surgery. It wasn't big or nothing like that. But the point is, I wasn't going to be able to work. So their money was going to be cut oh. in half. You know what I mean? So, um, and, and it was going to go from getting like three something a week or four, I tell you the truth, it was more like 500 a week. It wasn't a freaking 300 something, but it was like, uh, uh, it, it was enough to pay for the room and get them some food a week. Right. Yeah. So, um, 
instead of them getting that full amount, they was going to get half. I was going to get them like about a hundred and seventy five or like two hundred dollars or whatever. I think I showed everybody the Skype. And then that's when she made the video saying that I'm giving her a death sentence. And the funny thing is they knew that for about a week or a week and a half before she made that video. So she made the video claiming that I gave her a death sentence. She's going to have to sit in the car. Just completely gave up. Wasn't thinking about how they can try to get extra money or whatever. You know what I mean? She started making all these videos, start talking all this smack and whatnot. Yeah, uh, okay. And, no, I remember, yeah. I remember you saying that. But like I said, on the, yeah. on the one and hand... I just had I, enough. It was enough after a while because like I said, uh, uh, Jason, even at that particular time, could have had a job and worked. He didn't want to do it. He lied to everybody on here saying that he couldn't find a job. That's not true. Even right now, he can get a job and he doesn't want to do it. He, they're, they're, they're full of it. They don't want to work. But you didn't know that before? No, I didn't. No, I didn't. And when it happened the first time, like I said, I told you about how Shane was throwing stuff at him, broke a lot of his stuff, destroyed that leather coat that he had, completely destroyed it, uh, uh, and did some other stuff. The second time it happened, uh, she wanted to throw him out in the street. She wanted me to just, she, she sent me a text message, told me to throw him out in the street, saying that, that she'll get her crippled behind up and do it herself or whatever. And then he started making all these excuses, saying that he's hallucinating and he's seeing things and needs his medication and that he doesn't want to, um, uh, and he doesn't want to work. He's going to have to get disability or whatever. Hmm. Well, yeah. Um, and full of I it, the lazy. I just the want dude to say, didn't want to sweep the floor. He didn't want to mop. He didn't want to. Um, he didn't want to make the bed. He didn't want to do nothing. The only time that dude was all energetic was when he had to get in the car to go somewhere, or when I showed up and it was time to go food shopping. All, oh, all of a sudden, he wanted to be energetic and do things. Um. Sorry, I was just reading in my chat in the corner while I'm listening to you, and uh, I just want to say I didn't I didn't know that uh, the conversation was going to turn to a, a firearm, and I didn't know that Brett had uh, family uh, past trauma with that. So, Brett, if you do watch this replay, dude, you know I love you uh, like a brother, and I'm sorry that you had to deal with that. But uh, I just wanted to say that because uh, I didn't realize I just looked at the past chat, and I could see how people, you know. We're all, you know, emotional beings here. That's why I try to give people the uh, benefit of the, of the doubt. With that being said, I would have loved to have had you say, instead of it being, well, your back was hurting and the money thing and you had to give her less. If you just said, those kids were not doing well, that maybe they were bathing, but they weren't getting taken care of. Weren't they not getting taken care of the right way? I mean, the one, the, the son, the one boy failed school. Jenny wasn't taking well, he wasn't, care of him. Zachary wasn't wasn't getting the um uh, it wasn't like uh Jason was sitting there with him trying to help him with his lessons and everything. Like I said, they they wake up in the morning, they would have their they got their separate rooms and they got the little laptops and they were doing the classes in the different rooms. And then in the other room, like like, like I said, those guys doing YouTube 24 freaking 7. They got nothing else going on for them. And um and they're making all that noise and whatnot while they were actually in doing their classes. They would be making all that noise and whatnot. But I never once saw him go in there and try to help him with his homework or anything like that. And I've heard Jason say on multiple occasions that he wished it was just him and Shani. So all that crap about um, them sitting there saying that this was the best for them and all that other mess and whatnot was nonsense. I think that the reason why CPS went there and got them was, number one, Jason wasn't supposed to, Jason wasn't supposed to be in the house after, doing, after what happened with Zachary. And I think the second thing was is when they went there, they... Um, they, they 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 probably went there on the day when they didn't have no food. That's probably what happened. Okay. Because they uh, had to wait for me a lot of times to come to, from to, either Philly or New Jersey to be able to come over there and take them food shopping. Because Shady made it seem like because she didn't go, the they dropped the charges and he could go back. So you're saying no, he was not allowed at that place. At that he was not no, allowed. No, 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 no. He was allowed. See, here's the thing. Shady said that that he couldn't be there uh until the the the, the what was it um actually no no, no that, that, that's a good point that's a good point um she yeah she said that 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 she didn't want him there and then their story changed saying that they that that he couldn't be there then he was there and then a couple of times i think cps came there they didn't do anything but I don't know what y'all did when y'all called or whatever. But the point is that they called me off on the phone out of the blue and said that I had to be there X amount of hours in order for the kids to be there. I don't know why I got to be there. Those are not what? my kids. What? What? Those CPS are not my. 
They told you CBS CBS? told me I had to be there X amount of hours every day. It's because they were supervised be visits, man. They wanted supervised visits, and, and they're probably so have nobody to do it. They probably figure, you know, this house stinks, and maybe if you're there, they won't hurt them in front of you. Like they wouldn't. You well, know. If they did that. I would have threw them out, and they know it. I would have threw them out, and they knew it. There's a okay. lot of things they couldn't do when I was actually there because if they did it, I would have threw them out. So you're actually saying you didn't see any type of something like they never that. They put their hands on those screams, kids when I was there. Yeah, or screaming and yelling while you were there. They, they never put their hands on those kids. I, verbally, that's something different, but they never put their hands on those kids when they were there. But the kid wasn't allowed to go outside either. Like, 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 And when I say go outside, I'm not talking about the front of the door. Like yeah. they, there was a park directly around the corner from that They weren't allowed to go to the park? No. Because uh, Shani was concerned that you guys was going to go there and murder them or try to kidnap what? them. Yep. <laughs> but they, wow. I mean, the, the older one is of age enough where he would be able to take care of himself. I mean, I'm surprised with that. Uh, but Shaza asked real quick, uh, uh, it, if they ever took the boys on any outings, do you know of any of them taking? The yeah, uh, they, took, uh, they took them to like a uh, Walmart. Uh, they took them to like sometimes to go pay the bills. We all went to Dollar Tree one day as a big trip so that they can get as much food as possible because I told them to fill up the whole cart. Uh, we went to uh, Walmart Dollar Store, Dollar General. Uh, we went to the park to play basketball a couple of times, one or two times in two years, mind you. Uh, let me see. Yeah. Um, No, uh, th th those are the only places. The park, I think, um, Walmart mainly. They loved going there, man, because they got to pick up all the food they wanted. Uh, and Dollar General and the dollar store, as far as I know. If they okay. went anywhere else, I don't remember. Uh, and folks, uh, he's about to leave really soon. So if anyone else has any last minute questions, please put them up now because he. I'm yeah. actually leaving now, actually. Okay. Because, um, uh, okay. <laughs> it's been an hour. Donna, I got something I got to do. Yeah. Donna yeah. asked, as Jim, uh, you, did you hear the 911 call from the neighbors? The 911 call from the neighbors? Yeah. Did you ever hear that? No. But if you want to play it, I'll watch it on the replay later on when I look at this. Okay. I would have to, I would have to find it. Uh, I can, I can always send it to you. Okay. Well, uh, okay, well, thanks uh, for coming back. Oh, one more thing. that What you just said about the um, Shani ripping Jason's stuff apart. You, you're talking about in PA, right? Yeah, she, 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 in she, she broke a lot of his stuff. A lot of his games. And, and, and she was hitting him. Like his leather, ja his leather jacket? Like his, yeah, uh, he has his leather jacket. It has the video some, game, right? Yeah, some video game thingy on the back of it. Killer Instinct. The Killer Instinct jacket? Yeah, yeah. She destroyed that jacket. She, she threw a lot of it stuff downstairs wow. and threw a, broke a lot of stuff, too. And he really liked that I jacket. At, I looked at what she was breaking. I said, this was my stuff, man. I would have dragged her out by that house by her ear. And I would have <laughs> threw her behind that. I don't care if I want to work or not. You don't break my things. Okay, but that, that happened in PA, though, right? Yeah. Yeah. So the kids were present for those times that she was ripping his stuff. I they, they probably wasn't was in the house. Yeah, probably. I don't know. I wasn't there. I told yeah. you it was a big snowstorm, and me and the uh, contractor that I was with that was going to hire him went to go get hot dogs. And then this quick storm came. The storm only lasted about a half hour, and then when we came back, you know, that's where we saw all the broken stuff or whatever. But anyway, man, uh, I gotta go. Yeah. All right. Yeah, uh, thanks uh, for coming back. Um, like I said, I owe you two uh, streams. You just send me an email when you want them. I I, I can talk about whatever you want, religion, whatever you want. All right, gotcha. All right, all right. Have a good night. Yeah, you too. Okay, peace. Peace. Okay, okay, guys. Um, all right. So there you have it. Um, and go to. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know what that's about um okay so there you have it he said as far as this is concerned he did hear it so he heard it this time folks uh who it was i i have no idea i i have no idea i i don't i don't think it was them i mean it does seem it does seem um that he does not want them in the house because like he just said it would just stink up the place again 
I personally feel like if he would have just said, you know what, these kids are not being treated treated right. You guys stink, and it, there's always some drama going on. You guys are fighting. It's getting physical. I can't be around this anymore. That's where I would have personally ended it with uh, with them. I wish that's how he would have, you know, came about it. I mean, whether it's his religion that was giving them blinders. I don't know who's the, what's you know i've met people like that before that they're trying to help and they think people are just lying remember folks just because you're paranoid don't mean they ain't after you and just because somebody don't like you does not mean that they're lying to you that is something everyone should understand you know a lot of people will tell you the truth even if they don't like you and it's really up to you to decide when you want to swallow that truth but uh yeah that's that's it um thank you all for coming in i was just you know wanting to finish that up and now in the future i'll be on his uh show so i don't know if i will restream that or you know I i'm sure i'll figure something out i only buy his word so much yeah yeah and the same here the same here david i i, I understand that with people that are religious they hold on to the bible and stuff but i think that there's a difference between holding on to your your beliefs and using your nose to smell things or using your eyes to see things you know it's a hard situation when people are coming at you and they don't like you but i think when kids are concerned you got to swallow your pride put your hatred or your dislike for people on the on the back burner and say Let's take care of these kids. You know what I mean? That's that's how I feel like uh, when it comes to that. Um, but uh, yeah, so when he said that she and he was ripping stuff apart, I wanted to see like were, were, were the kids present for that? Because I know with a lot of people, that's their problem with this is that the, they, you know, having this happen and him kind of be sitting there and be like, well, He's only mad now because he, you know, he couldn't pay for them anymore. But like I said, you know, it's, I can, I've seen people like this before, you know, thinking that they need to hold on to religion because uh, I need, this is my sister in Christ or whatever you want to call it. I just personally think that, uh, you know, once the kids were gone, it was a lot easier to get them out. But uh, that's it. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do next. I have some ideas. But thank you all. There are about 180 of you right now. Please like, please subscribe if you're not subbed. And to the people who just got a membership, you should definitely subscribe if you're not because now you're a member, at least for a month. But that's it. Thank you all. Um, oh, look, David, you just gave me something. Before I go, I will read that. I guess I can turn my alert thing back on. Uh, hold on, let me just read that. I love the fact that G-Man never mentioned my... Oh, your sister, you uh, such Christian love from him. He's selfish. Don't be fooled. This whole thing with Shani is for show. Well, uh, thank you for that, for the 10, uh, David. Um, I am sorry about uh, your sister. I hope that she gets, you know... I mean David Anthony has just donated $10 through Super Chat. I love the fact that G-Man never mentioned my sister even once. Such Christian love from him. G-Man is selfish. Don't be fooled. <laughs> this whole thing with Shani is for show. Um, okay, thanks again. And I was just going to say, like, I know when someone is going through something, like when I saw when you said that, I was like, oh, I'm sorry. Put out the link. Or when uh, when he meant, when G-Man mentioned something about firearms and then someone felt a certain way, I had to address it because that's just me. You know, I always have a heart. Even when people don't want me to have it, it's here I feel I'm like an empath. I feel feelings. <laughs> it sucks. Um, but, uh, you know, I always try to say, Hey, you know, I hope things are good and prayers and everything, but, uh, that that's it guys. Now I'm rambling. So I'll get going, <laughs> but thank you all for hanging out. But yeah, uh, David, I hope things are okay. And, um, you know, and I, I hope that, uh, the GoFundMe, the GoFundMe is successful. But um, thank you all for hanging out, and that's it. I'll see you on the next one. 
be kind to each other and i love you and i'll see you soon peace hit the like <laughs>